Thank you, Mr. Secretary General. Mr. Secretary General, Excellencies, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. In a few more minutes, I will, in my capacity of President of the Second World Telecommunication Development Conference, bring to an end 10 days of deliberations, exchanges, negotiations and decisions. 10 days that have brought together over 1,000 delegates, among whom a number of honorable ministers. This conference has given me the opportunity to work closely with many representatives in the search for a better world for all our peoples. For Malta, this conference has been an important milestone in the annals of history. The government of Malta is extremely proud that Malta has once again served as a place where peoples of different race, culture and religions are able to meet in a tranquil and relaxed environment to discuss and deliberate on strategies that will influence and have a direct impact on the future of the, their societies. In our humble way, we have tried to give the conference a human dimension, ensuring that our traditional hospitality and friendship would contribute towards understanding and cooperation. As I listened to the various interventions, I was stricken by the strong determination of governments and administrations to maximize the synergistic benefits of telecommunications. I can state without any hesitation or doubt that the ITU's message that telecommunications is a country's strategic and key factor for social and economic development has been echoed by all those that have participated in this conference. The reverberating call made by the majority of delegations to be given the necessary tools to be able to develop their telecommunications capacities and infrastructures cannot go unheeded. I feel that it is important that the, that the ITUD, as well as the more advanced countries, extend a helping hand to those countries which, because of their geography and size, and because of political, economic, cultural and financial reasons, have so far been unable to obtain the benefits accruing from the rapidly evolving development of the telecommunication sectors. I would like to take this opportunity to reiterate Malta's readiness and commitment to continue to work in close cooperation and collaboration with all member states and also with the International Telecommunications Union in order to develop and enhance the capacities of developing countries in the telecommunications field. It is my hope that Malta's contribution to ensure in practical terms that this conference attains its aims and objectives is replicated by all member states and administrations, particularly in imparting know-how and exchange of information relating to the telecommunications sector. It is in this context that I would like to, once again, state my government intention to set up a regional telecommunications training center. Here, I would like to express Malta's sincere appreciation to the ITU for accepting to assist in this venture. I strongly believe that this practical and joint endeavor will not only strengthen our resolve to adopt a networking approach of collaboration in human resource development and training, but will also open new avenues for a more concerted and progressive partnership among and between our neighboring regional counterparts and even beyond. The Valletta Declaration and the Valletta Action Plan adopted earlier today are an achievement of which this conference should be proud. I am sure that these two documents give us the necessary mandates to direct our attention and efforts towards those issues that will sustain our work over the coming four years. 
The documents also allow us to build on what has been achieved in the past and to look with optimism to the future. It is my hope that the enthusiasm and validity, vitality with which all participants have confronted the various items of the agenda of this conference will continue when all of you return to your own countries. I cannot conclude this conference without expressing my sincere thanks to all heads of delegations and to you, participants, for honoring us with your presence here in Malta. My thanks also go to the Secretary General of the ITU, Dr. Pekka Tariana, and all his staff for the excellent manner they have coordinated our efforts. I must likewise express my appreciation to Malta Com PLC and all the Maltese delegates and supporting staff that have contributed towards the preparatory organization and successful conclusion of this conference. To all interpreters, press writers, translators, typists, technicians, and to all those that have in one way or another made a contribution, I would like to thank them previously. We shall leave with the firm knowledge that we have together given our peoples well-defined mechanism that will see us through the new millennium and beyond. The commitments which we, governments and administrations, have agreed upon during this conference must now be put into effect through the direct involvement and participation of our citizens. Thank you. The last item on the agenda is other business. If there is another, any other business, USA. Mr. Chairman, I take this opportunity to congratulate my fellow delegates on the successful conclusion of the World Telecommunication Development Conference. This has been a joint effort demonstrating how well partnerships can exist on a global basis. The U.S. delegation believes that our hard work here will reap multiple returns for the world community and for developing countries in particular. Mr. Chairman, my delegation wants to offer gratitude for your efforts.